Hello everyone, this is Chrissy from TrainingGrounds.com and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom footer content in the thesis theme. When you install the thesis theme, the default footer is get smart with the thesis WordPress theme from DIY Themes, which is just fine as a footer content, but most of the time you'll want information about your own website, maybe links of your own within the footer. So I'm going to show you how to first remove this from the footer so you don't have anything referring to DIY themes and then how to input your own information into the footer. I'm going to be using the plugin thesis open hook for this. You can do this in the custom.php file but it is easier to use the open hook. So here I am at my dashboard and I'm going to click on thesis open hook. And I'm going to use this handy little navigator to go to the footer information. Go to thesis hook footer. And you'll see below that there is an option for remove thesis attribution and that will remove this this line that says get smart with the thesis theme. So we'll go ahead and click that. I always select execute PHP. It's not necessary for this but later on if I want to add PHP to my footer or any part of my thesis hooks I always make sure to select that as an option. You don't want to worry too much about displaying debug information and you can help fight spam by including an invisible project honeypot quick link in the footer area. Now once you click remove the thesis attribution you actually have nothing in your footer but you can actually use this this area for typing in anything that you want in your footer information. So I'm going to put in some information about training grounds Okay, and you can actually input some HTML for your footer. So I'm going to make this a live link for emailing videos at traininggrounds.com. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click on the little save button and show you what my footer looks like now. Okay, you'll see Training Grounds 2012, and actually if I want this to be on separate lines, I will have to use the HTML code for creating a separate line. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is. And this is a clickable link for a person to email videos at traininggrounds.com. So let's show what it would look like if I wanted it on a separate line. You can add all kinds of information to your footer. You can actually change the alignment so that it's aligned to the left or the right. You can align it to the center or you can even justify the alignment so that it will go all the way across. For right now I'm happy to have it on the lower right hand corner of my site. And don't worry when visitors go to your website they will not see this WordPress admin link. That shows up because I am logged into my dashboard for the website. And there's a really quick and easy way to customize the footer content of your thesis theme website. Thank you.